It's delicious. Awesome. It's perfect. What's up guys, Lenny Gale, Life is Noyo. Today, I wanna to show you the new Immersion Blender from Vitamix. When I picked up the box, it felt like I was holding an Apple product. And this may just be because I'm, well, been making a career working with Vitamix and I'm used to huge boxes, but this thing is teeny. And, and then the other reason is, you know, you look closely and this verbiage is something like you'd see on an, on an iPhone. Uh, designed, designed in the USA and then manufactured and assembled in China. And, and, and that's unique because all Vitamix products, you know, it's no secret, they source some of the materials overseas, but they're all assembled here in the United States, in Ohio. So it feels more like an Apple product, but then when you open up the box, you're like, oh, okay, yeah, this is a Vitamix. You, you can feel, it's, it's heavy duty. I think the tech specs say it's 2.8 pounds. It's, not break your arm or wrist heavy, but it's significant. The cord is long because, well, that makes sense. You need to have a, you don't, <laughs> needs to kind of travel to your pot of soup. Stainless steel top, stainless steel sort of wand. And so this seems to have everything that the best immersion blenders have. From the top, it has a few speeds, but not too many to give you sort of precise textures. It feels good in the hand, it's easy to work with. It's long, I mean, it, is designed to go all the way into pots of soup, not just halfway. And so the stainless steel is here to be heat resistant. The sort of bell bottom uh, is plastic and that's to guard against scratching the bottom of a pot. And that's also one of the inherent safety features. This is to protect you. And then also you can't drive the motor unless the wand is safely assembled on it. And then unique to Vitamix products in general, two things. One, the blade is teeny tiny and it's sharp. Vitamix blades on the full size blenders are dull. And then also unique to most Vitamix products, this thing is quiet. I'd say it has the same noise output as an electric toothbrush. I mean, really, award for the quietest Vitamix right here. All immersion blenders are really good at one thing and that's blending in the cup or the pot that you're cooking it in or you're going to drink it out of. That's what it's best at. Cleanup is simple, no transfer. That's this thing's wheelhouse. So, simple smoothies, simple protein shakes that are just milk, ice, banana, protein powder. Soups made with broth and vegetables to add a little bit of texture to kind of blend it up a little bit. Great for dressings emulsifications, little bits of baby food. We found, and we were so pleasantly surprised, nice cream, frozen bananas, frozen strawberries, a splash of milk, and go to town, you have a single serve, single serving of banana ice cream, strawberry banana ice cream. That's probably our favorite thing to do with this, only slightly ahead of a single serving of pesto. Uh, usually you usually have to make a fairly decent amount of pesto in any Vitamix container. This thing made a little bit, and what isn't pesto good on? What doesn't it make better? Pesto's the best. Pesto's the best though. In general, and true with this immersion blender, it's not great at making silky smooth smoothies and silky smooth protein shakes and velvety soups. And, and there is a difference. And this is the difference that only a full-size Vitamix can provide. This is why smoothies and juices, whole food juices, from a quick serve restaurant taste better than the ones uh, at home that you make. They're made in a Vitamix. They taste different. It's the difference between a sugar cube tastes different than granulated sugar, tastes different than powdered sugar. And, and you can see the difference. So we try to make our balsamic butternut squash soup using the immersion letter, and it, it kind of, looked and tasted like mashed potatoes. But then we transferred it, put it into our full-size container, and it transformed into this like, a different color and a completely different taste and the soup that people rave about and that we knew was good, but we are like, wait a minute, what's wrong with the soup? Like, I thought it was a, a wonderful, amazing, magical soup. This cannot do that. Likewise, with protein shakes, we like to add oats to our protein shakes to make them less chalky 
When we made a protein shake, it, it was not chalky, but there were still sort of chunks. We had to kind of chew the oats. How was mm, it? Mm -mm. Very bad. Why? Move my tongue. I get the impression it would be the same thing with a sort of a peanut butter and jelly smoothie we make with raspberries and blueberries and blackberries. Those teeny tiny seeds probably wouldn't get pulverized, broken down like they do in a full-size vitamin mix. Didn't test our green juice, but I would imagine that green juice that has kale in it would probably have some kale chunks. But that's consistent with any Vitamix alternative. A Ninja, a Nutribullet, Oster, Breville. That's what you get when you make green smoothies with kale. You gotta chew it a little bit. And yeah, I mean, this is not deceptive marketing because you got a green smoothie in here, but pineapple, grapes, a little bit of ice, and spinach, it can do that. And that looks like about the consistency you would get. I would call BS if there was kale in here, but there's not. And it goes without saying, the immersion wonder, it can't do heavy duty tasks. So chopping, like when you make our detox salad, uh, using it as a food processor replacement. Gave it a shot at making nut butter, the simplest one, peanut butter. <laughs> Okay. So it just kind of turned off. I mean, a little bit, yeah. I mean, it's kind of peanut buttery, but I, I can't say I would recommend doing this. And then of course, this thing also doesn't have the power to heat. Full-size Vitamix is going to be able to heat your hot soups, not so much. This thing was really easy to clean. A couple of drops of soap in warm water, drop it in, turn it on. It was quiet. With some really sticky or thick blends, which I'm not even sure you would do anyway, you really have to get in there and it gets kind of tricky to get out under the blade. Most of what you're gonna be making is not so thick and like cement sticky that it would be an issue and would need more uh, elbow grease than just sticking it into a cup with warm water, but just putting it out there. If you do do that, it's tricky to get in there like any immersion blender. Let's talk about who this thing might be for. The new immersion blender from Vitamix might be for you if you're looking to get into the Vitamix family. You're trying to adopt a healthy lifestyle and you're in the market for maybe a Nutribullet or maybe a Ninja Blender, that's kind of your budget. And you're intrigued by the durability, by the three year full warranty, which covers everything, free shipping both ways. And you're intrigued by the convenience blend in the same cup you will be drinking from. And you're intrigued by the versatility. This thing can do a lot more than a, a blender you'll have for a year. This thing might be for you if you have a, a small kitchen. You live in a big city. Uh, we have friends that live in tiny apartments. and But they really are into cooking and want to get more into cooking. The footprint of this thing is tiny and would be a great thing to have if you're looking to make more hot soups and mm, occasionally a smoothie or some ice cream. This thing might be for you if you're really into making hot soups or you want to get into making hot soups because if you ask top chefs what they need to make hot soups, they'll always say an immersion blender. This thing might be for you if you're already a Vitamix owner. You have a full-size Vitamix and you're like, hmm, single serve ice cream, single serve pesto, playing around with hot soups in the pot, that sounds Pretty good to me. It might be for you if you like the idea of meal prepping. So you're making smoothies for the entire week using mason jars. So you're gonna fill five mason jars with ingredients, put them in the fridge, and then in the morning, every day, make yourself a smoothie. You will love this thing. And this might be for you if you know someone who is a Vitamix lover and you wanna give them a gift. Now, this isn't necessarily something you'd buy for yourself if if you have a full-size Vitamix, because it's not something you need. But if you have it, you're gonna love it. On the other hand, it might not be for you if you're looking to make silky smooth smoothies and whole food juices. You don't like the idea of chewing your smoothies or your protein shakes. Or if you want velvety smooth soups, ones that you would get at a Michelin rated restaurant. Okay, real talk guys, we like this thing probably never would have bought it for ourselves because we have a full-size Vitamix that can do all of these things better, albeit maybe less conveniently, like the soups and smoothies, but we, were, we really liked it. 
for making single serve strawberry banana and ice cream. We love making pesto. Tonight we're making a dressing, an emulsified salad dressing for dinner using this. And well, we're probably gonna be exploring more with soups. Uh, not the velvety smooth soups that we have on our website, but ones that are stock, which is uh, you know, broth and vegetables to get a varied consistency. Um, we hope to, well, we're gonna upload a full review of this thing down the road once we've had a chance to use it and really get a sense of how we use it in our home. And so guys, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell to get notified. And if you appreciate videos like this, hit that thumbs up and Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. milk. Do you remember what this milk is called? Um, Ripple. Ripple. Thank you. Alright. Plug her in. Do you my headphones? Yep. I don't know why I put them away. That looks fun. She's a little mouse. That's really good. Oh, are you making us on the dawn? Hmm? I'm not going to turn it on yet. Not until you have them done. So I know you don't want me to, right? Hmm. Not talk. I'm going to mess it up. Mess it up. So why do you put this into the freezer? So that the cup is cold. Because I feel like it'll... Is that... Do you want one you can see through better? Sure. Okay. This is already working. I'm washing um, the blender. It is warm. <laughs> Where did the Okay. It's just a tiny bit warm. All right, well, that's super easy. I would say of all the Vitamix oh, products, that, that was the easiest to get on. For a second, you can push it. Ooh. All right. Okay, ready? I just have a feeling it's going to be mad. All right, go for it. Nice. Okay, let go. Let go. Ready? is like round Did one. Oh wow. Yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Lucy, Lucy, we're safe. Classic immersion blender that you need to kind of redo for a second, like scrape the sides. Yeah. I'm gonna push. Okay, push with me. Ready? I mean, I think that did an excellent job. Yeah, sounds like it did. Give me that. Hold that still. Yeah, we made ice cream.
That's cool. Put this here and hold note back. Okay, cool. Hands off, yeah. Okay, let's take a look. I mean, Sure, and then we can eat them, okay? I think it looks good. I do too. Hang on. Can you hold it upside? Ooh. As as. Dangerous. Yeah, stop touching that. <laughs> yeah, stick this, stick this. I don't know. Just do. You're good now. I'm. I'm good. Oh. It's actually quite good. So, get in. I want overhead. Get in there with the spoon. Hang on, love. We gotta do the actual video part. More again. And then we can have some, okay? Just wait cool. one second, okay? Stop touching that, please. Okay? Here, this can be as easy. Pretty good, huh? Can I cut it? It doesn't need to be cut because it's really small. Cool. Really cool. I'm impressed. Me too.